I am Noemi, uh, the Magnum girl. Yeah, it was a, a competition um, and there was like a 10,000 girls from all over, from different countries and I won on the end. It was one day of shoot, they flew me in from New York and they did the shoot and that was it. I come from Interlaken, that's a small village, very, very beautiful, surrounded from mountains and lakes, and very pretty. I love modeling and I'm using this as a stepping stone to um, inspire people to make different projects, to work in music, um, to travel, to learn. Oh, you know, in music really it helps about your taste, you know, depending if you sing or, or whatever you do, it's about your talent really. Then of course I think the modeling would help, you know, from the hype wise, it will reflect both of it. The, the, the DJing will help the modeling and the modeling will help the DJ, so, um, but really for music it's about talent. I was very lucky, I traveled to really, really beautiful places, um, Indonesia, uh, many islands, Africa, um, just really inspiring places, very, very nice. The young girls, they're sort of blinded by the glamour of it all, but it's definitely a very hard job, it takes a lot from you, you know and um, takes a lot of strength, you know, but it's fun as well, but um, it's definitely not an easy job. Uh, you have to really see that um, uh, it's a very professional agency, you know, like, and it takes the character as well, you know, uh, but you should definitely see that it's a professional agency. I mean, I went to New York and I lived with Eileen Ford and uh, I lived with her and she took very well care of me. My father actually, he is in Nepal. He makes a road from um, Kathmandu to Tibet, China. And this is a really big project. He's the project manager over there. It's a very difficult um, job to do because all the rain, the monsoon, you know, like all the, 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 the streets that were there before, they all got, you know, slipped away. Kathmandu itself is very, very, dirty, very stinky because it's in a valley and um, the, the king has this very bad gasoline and they have this uh, taxis called Tuk Tuk and it, the pollution is really really bad like you kind of need to have a mask because it's so bad but otherwise I mean the countryside is beautiful it's really really nice. Well the drivers in Rio um, like in many places I mean Argentina as well very, very crazy drivers, very, very fast and changing lines and dangerous, dangerous driving. And New York as well, very crazy driving, crazy driving. Um, um, the taxi drivers, they drive really, really crazy. They just change lines, but I'm really amazed that never really anything happens. You have to be really, really good drivers to drive in New York. Well, I think if a guy would drive up with a car like this, I think I would um, definitely think something. I would think that um, he would be a classy guy, maybe, you know. Uh, I would hope so, he would not be a macho guy, but there's as well the classy guy, nice people that would drive a car like this, which is actually a lot of fun to drive in the convertible. Well, I think people that would drive a car like this, they would be practical, you know, they would like to travel uh, in nature a lot. They might want to have uh, children or dog, animals, something like that. But I think just practical people would want to drive a car like that. Well, I would see myself in, um, well, I would have a dog, so something bigger, definitely. The Rancher Rover. I like the Rancher Rover. 
I like the Range Rover and, and I like Mercedes and I like, um, yeah. Why the Range Rover? I don't know, I like the, the simple look of it. I just like it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, at that point I would have to look through different cars, you know. But I like it and it has a lot of backspace because I'd like to have a Great Dane, so. Yeah, I grew up with a Great Dane. <laughs> I love these dogs very much. I went on a road trip when I was like about 17 from Memphis, Tennessee all the way to Los Angeles and then back. That took us one month and um, it was a really, really funny and um, exhausting event. It was just, you know, these two girls in this sports car. Um, thanks God nothing bad happened. We really had an angel watching over us. But um, uh, once we were driving in the Rocky Mountains and this big van was like, just keep on coming on our back, you know? And we were like both being afraid because they were huge vans, you know? And just trying to get away from him. Uh, there's stuff on hold, you know, uh, which I'm excited about, but uh, I'm only gonna talk about it if it comes through, but I think you're gonna see my face around. <laughs>